All right, so today I'm going to be doing a little review on my Inspiron 13 7000 series. But this is a good little mid-range computer um, that you can use to search the web. I really probably wouldn't do any video processing or anything like that on it. But um, it has a Core i3 processor and it also has a touch screen. Screen is 1080p. We have a webcam up here. And let me just pull up the specs for you. So yeah, this has a Core i3 and it has the standard Intel um, graphics. So it, nothing spectacular. But yeah, it has 2.3 gigahertz. Um, and it's a dual core. And I don't know what it maxes out at, 6100. I don't really care about that. It has 8 gigs of RAM. And I think you can upgrade it to 16 gigs. Actually, 32 gigs. I don't know if it'll recognize that, but it does have two slots. But it runs just fine with uh, 8 gigs of RAM. And it is running Windows 10 Home Edition. Um, the keyboard is backlit. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but one, one thing that's cool is that when you press a button, the keyboard backlighting actually comes on and off. So if the screen cuts off, the backlighting cuts off. And uh, if you're sitting there reading a page for a while, this backlit... Uh, this backlighting will cut off so that is a nifty feature if you're sitting on a couch or something unplugged the battery lasts uh, pretty good I haven't tested the time but it, it lasts you know for me at least three hours so you know it's it has a very solid feel um, you know it is actually heavy for a 13 inch notebook um, you know I do like the chrome ring that goes around it the bottom is all black as well you got your fans in the back. It does have uh, three USB ports and an SD card slot, which is cool. Um, here you can see the HDMI slot, the power jack, as well as the three and a half millimeter headphone jack. So all your basic jacks uh, it does have. And this one actually has a solid state hard drive, so it's very quick. Yeah, it kind of has a silvery finish here. Uh, you know, like I said, it has backlighting. Ooh, got a little hair there. I uh, got the Windows button here. The keyboard is very tactile, great to use. The touch screen is I mean, great. You can flip it all the way over and fold it back, and it does do that tablet thing. But again, this is a heavier laptop. It's close to five pounds just because that screen is a touch screen. And I think anything that's over 10 inches is really too big to be flipping around like a tablet. But you know, I mean, it works well, you know, it's a pretty nifty machine. The only One of the only complaints that I have about it is this power brick. The power brick is small enough, but it has a three-prong jack, which to me is really not necessary. It has an i3 processor. Look how small, you know, this connector is. So it could really do without that. My previous notebook, that Lenovo that I did a review on, um, well, one of my previous notebooks I've since had a couple of Dells, but... Anyway, did not have that, and it was very convenient. So this is overall a good little notebook. I actually got lucky, and I got this notebook for $140 on Craigslist. I don't know why the girl was selling it that cheap, but you may be able to find a deal. I have not seen it that cheap anywhere. But um, It's a good little notebook. Like I said, it's, it's a small enough footprint that you can take it on a plane and go with it. Don't expect for it to be ultra lightweight. It's not going to happen with a touch screen. Um, unless you're buying a super high-end machine, but it does have a relatively slim Very profile slim profile and it doesn't do that thing that some older notebooks do where it's super large in the back um, Yeah, it's 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 the same width all the way around and you know, it's a very simplistic and Very classy style. So anyway, this is a great notebook and thanks for watching